One of the central questions when it comes to digital strategy is how do you make progress without being certain of the end game or even if there is an end game? And so we bring two major ideas to the party when we uh, do digital strategy with our clients. The first one is today forward and future back. Henry Ford was famously quoted or maybe misquoted um, saying that uh, if he had asked his customers what they wanted, they would have said a faster horse. And so our point of view is that every single company has to simultaneously build a cheaper, better, faster horse and imagine the car. And that doing one without the other isn't an option. So present forward, today forward, is pretty clear. It's what are the three to five use cases that you should pursue to get your feet wet and get your people going on digital. And if you've got people in your organization that feel like doers, that's very satisfying because you feel you make, you're making progress and you're making money along the way. But you also need to ask yourself about the future. So future back is about imagining the future 10 years out, 20 years out. If you had done the exercise 10 years ago in automotive, there would have been two words on the page, autonomous and electric. And yet a lot of executives miss that and a lot of people are still playing catch up today on, on that reality. The second idea that we bring to the party for digital strategy is, is the idea of stepping stones. And I don't mean make progress one step at a time. What I do mean instead is that frequently with digital, you do not see step two until you take step one. That is something that every startup knows and every incumbent or every migrant, people moving to digital, has a really hard time getting comfortable with because people are used to having long strategic planning cycles, very clear decision rights, a board who's asking very pointed questions, investors who wanna know exactly where you're going. And so it's not always comfortable to admit that, you know what, I'm, I'm gonna do this and then I'll see where it takes me. Uh, but if you think about Uber, uh, which has come to, to define the kind of question CEOs are getting from their board, you know, what's gonna be our Uber moment or what could Uber do to us? What people are really thinking when they're asking those questions is UberX. Uber was not born as UberX. In fact, if you, if you map out all the stepping stones of the Uber journey, you could make the case that UberX is a second, third, or fourth degree derivative from the original idea, which was you know, the ability to order a limo in San Francisco and just have that run through your, uh, through your smartphone. This idea can be pretty scary for a lot of executives because uh, nobody really likes the concept that you're gonna try something, see what works. It feels like you know throwing spaghettis at a wall. The reality is that's how a lot of natives are running and it's allowing them a speed and a level of, of nimbleness that a lot of uh, incumbents are really trying to replicate. So it can be done. And by the way, some of the natives I'm talking about are very, very big companies now. So this can be done for very big companies, not just startups.